Hello, everybody, and welcome to Phantom Brigade, a, I want to say it's a kind of like a simultaneous turn-based uh, mech game. This is one of my, uh, one of my save files right now, but I'm going to be starting over for this new playthrough, but it's just kind of like you take your turns simultaneously. And yeah, it's, it's just super neat. It's been my latest obsession. I heard a lot of reviews saying that it was a mixture of Battletech and Adobe Premiere Pro. And that made me laugh so hard that I had to check it out and it has become my newest obsession. So right here, I'm gonna put a trigger warning. Warning, warning. This is a tactics-based game. I am stupid. Please bear with me. <laughs> I'm gonna be making a lot of mistakes and please scream at the screen as loud as you can because I will be able to hear you. Let's jump into it. Sorry to strap you in so early today, Lieutenant, but we'll have to cut our checks short. We've lost the town comms last night, and I'd like you to take a look at the tower we have half a click north from here. Okay. Oh, okay. So, pretty standard camera controls, honestly. I've changed a couple things around because it's just easier for me. These are our mechs. So, this game is pretty in depth in the way of each of your limbs has its own health pools and there's a lot of a lot of different like types of damage and bs so let's go to run and then we're going to run to the circle hey, and Lieutenant, execute they're still installing the prototype in my rig so don't hog all the action till i catch up Yes, it's not the most exciting test run of our new tech, but we've got people here counting on us, so let's move out. Whoa, what happened here? <laughs> Probably just some damn rowdy civilians. HQ, this is Special Field Ops Team Bravo requesting immediate repair detail. Over. This is HQ. Negative, Commander. Repair detail busy until further notice. Stand by. What could they be busy with? Well, let's see if we can't do a little more recon. Boot up that shiny new device Ops installed in your rig, and we'll see what she's made of. Okay. The predictive system. This is this is basically where all the Premiere Pro aspect comes from, because you have a timeline that displays what your enemies are going to do, and then you can work around that. Uh, so that's the hotbar. just got one side of the tower. If she's warmed up, you should be able to see where I'm moving. That's where all your uh, abilities are going to be, basically. So we can click here and then wait. And then you see on the timeline, it like goes and goes and goes. And if you go over the predicted limit approach, or it says prediction limit approaching. If you go over that limit, it'll say low precision warning, meaning that you will be going into the next turn. And it's kind of like D and D, where it's like every round is like six seconds or so, but you just have to wait a bit, and then we can move over here. So then it shows on our trail what we're gonna do here, and then we execute it, and we're gonna wait, and then we're gonna run. Super super nifty idea. I really like it. I think it's very innovative in a sense. And no transpond. Is this some surprise war games maneuver? HQ, we have an unmarked non really zoom in tank there too. location 2SBR15. Confirm intent, over. HQ, confirm, over. Lieutenant, I'm getting a heat signature from the tank's power core. Check your prototype. If that tank even twitches, cripple it. 
I will be spending most of my time in the air like that, but it's cool. Okay, so you can you can either put your mouse on the actual thing and follow him, or you can put it on the timeline here and it'll do everything. But we can see that he's going to start shooting right there. And then he's going to continue shooting. And he, he stops shooting around here, and then they're going to meet up and collide. That's what the yellow circle is. So basically, I need to run over here, and then I'm going to attack them. I want to put it right about there, right when I stop moving. And then I think I can get another one in. Oh, yeah, I can. Hold on, let me. I'm going to just do that. And you get to watch the, watch the action unfold. Boom. Easy clap. Good read on the tank. I'm hit, but just a scratch. You literally took like four damage, bro. I'm picking Calm up down. multiple targets from the north. My God, this can't be right. Take cover. Take cover. Okay, now we got to run over here. And it won't let me. This I think no I just need that. Commander. Multiple contacts just appeared on our forward slope. Weapons ready. Treat us hostile. This is not a drill. Intercept and protect the town. We're on our way. Roger, heading out. HQ, come in. HQ, do you read? <laughs> Pin down by two trash. Returning fire. Got one. Shit, a walker. Lieutenant, get the... The commander's down, but we have to focus. We have citizens to protect. There's a walker and multiple treads on approach. Remember, if things go to hell, set self-destruct and punch out, so they can't salvage our prototype. Whatever happens, let's meet at evac point R09. Okay. Protect the town. So... This is kind of the 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 most you're going to get in terms of UI, which it's pretty. I mean, there's going to be more stuff, but it'll be per per battle basis. So you have your you can hover over your left arm and you can see exactly your uh, integrities, the health of it and everything. And it gives you a level and all sorts of stuff. Then you got your tabs, which is so I've got a guy with a shotgun and a shield. I've got a guy with a assault rifle and SMG, and I got a guy with a heavy and a uh, pistol, it looks like. Uh, okay, so this heavy is a, a beam rifle, like a laser beam. Pretty, pretty cool. Let's check out the enemies here. There's one mech. He's going to be running and shooting. He's going to be aiming at just the ground. Is he just aiming at the ground? weird then we got one two three four five different tanks now every every uh vehicle has a class so it's light may medium heavy and um basically you can use that to your advantage just it tells you how tanky they are and then also you can collide with lower class units to basically fuck up the turn and it's awesome I love it. So right now, is anybody targeting him? Doesn't look like it. So I am going to just start making my way downtown. I think I'll go right about there. And I will start shooting as soon as he gets into my optimal range, which is about right there. So the, um, the circle around them, if they're in that circle, that's kind of your optimal range. That's where you do the most damage per your attack. And you can see on the right hand side there, there's a ton of fucking stats and bullshit that we'll get into later. But he also has a shield so I can I can put down a shield and then I can like point it towards people. Super useful. That's got a ton of health, 700 health, whereas 
my full body only has 800 but um yeah so i think that's good for now i can't fit another attack in the timeline so i'm just gonna leave it there you have an assault rifle smg so i'm also gonna run you over here i'll make it so so what's cool about this is that you have uh I'm going to put it on him. It's a 98. If I move that back any further, he's going to be... Oh, well, I guess they don't do it for this. Uh, ooh, I didn't even see that. Hold on. I'm going to shoot my guy in the back. <laughs> Let's take a different angle on that, then. Uh, that should be good. I might want to get up a little more. Right there. And typically, if you're you are less accurate while moving, but I don't think that's implemented in this yet. So we're just gonna go in all in on this mech because he's the most dangerous one here. Uh, I also have a pistol that I can, or an SMG that I can do, so I can do my first, first, primary and then secondary, and then that goes into the other turn. This guy here. Yeah, it looks like they're all just firing on the town. They're not firing on a specific unit because they will follow you. So this guy, I kind of want to get into an advantageous position. Maybe something up here. That's a little too far for my liking. I'll go up there and then he'll be there. And then I can use the gun. Who is the most so he's got a cannon he's got an auto cannon he's got a regular cannon i will go for the auto cannon for now and then yeah and then once you're done setting up all your people and everything you just hit execute and then you get to watch all the action happen oh that guy got totally fought oh deceased nice that's awesome. How much damage is this guy taking? He's taking quite a bit. He might be dead from that one attack. We'll see. But, uh, okay for now. What? Oh, oh, okay. I was like, why isn't it working? So this is the, the replay button. You can do this at any, any turn where you can just, uh, you can hover over and you can like, if you were focusing on these guys fighting and you missed what happened to the right there, you can go through and scrub through this timeline just to see exactly what happens where. My only problem with this is that it doesn't give the damage numbers or anything. Because I think I'll see like, oh, something, something damaged me over there, but I didn't see what happened to it. And then even on the replay, I couldn't see what happened to it. But overall, that's super fucking good, that replay system. So he's dead, so he's out of the turn order. So this guy's just going to go and he's going to attack my guy right there. This guy's just going to drive and then he's going to start attacking my heavy. This guy's going to drive a little weight and then start attacking that guy. He's going to attack and run away. He's going to... Oh, he's going right for him. Okay, so... So this guy, I believe, is attacking him. So what if I... Was that 3.5? So if I take this... And if I can be over here... By that time, he should... Be shooting his friend right in the ass. <laughs> That'll work for me. Oh, well, actually, he might be dead by then. So maybe that's not a good plan now that I'm thinking about it. Maybe actually I should focus on the other guy. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So I'm actually going to run over here to this guy. I'll be here uh, a little too far cancel that a lot of this is just going to be like trial and error yeah okay he is not 
as far up as I thought he was. So if I do that... Oh, he's just straight shooting over him anyway. Okay. New plan. <laughs> uh, let's start with the shotgunner. He is heavy, correct? Yes. So if I just sprint through and do this, and then I just pommel everyone I can. Uh, can I target the other guy, please? Thank you. I'm just gonna pop, 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 never stop not stopping. So those guys should actually kind of be dead already. And he is a medium, and that tank is a light. So I can also use that to my advantage. I can straight up run over here, collide with them. And then I can. I'll wait a bit on that. Probably start hitting around about there. that guy hit that guy there I'll just shoot as many times as we want you can't do this in the regular game because there is a kind of system in place that makes you not being able to do this but for now since it's the tutorial I'm just going to go ham so he is still firing I think I'll just continue to hit this guy even after I'm done. Okay, let's execute that, see how that goes. Yeah, so he's dead. I ran into him. I think that's it. Yeah, victory. Got them all, baby. Almost at the cliff. Go, go, go. on us to retake what they've taken from us even if we are the last ones left i'm really enjoying the cinematics to this though threads are converging. There's nothing more we can do here. Is that final time for some shut eye? No. Not today. By the time we realized what was happening, it was too late. We were at war. The border towns and cities were hit first. Communications cut, and residents chased from their homes. In their place, they erected military outposts that still watch us to this day. We fought back, and for a while, we even held down the capital. But we were outmaneuvered, and outnumbered, outgunned. Eventually, those of us who didn't surrender had to escape. For years, the government has operated in exile, along with the Home Guard, the remaining remnants of our country's military. They have been fighting tirelessly against impossible odds, but they can't do it alone. We answer to no one, nothing but the call. 
And now, after years of training, preparing, waiting, the Phantom Brigade is coming home. It's me, they said the name. Roll credits. Welcome home, Brigade. You peer out at a vast stretch of land before you, your home, now a battleground, is familiar as an old friend with, a, with its deceptively quiet mountains and fields. At your back, your crew awaits your orders. You need supplies, parts, and a place to bunker down. Pilot points to a spot on the map directly ahead of you, Felheim Base, which once belonged to the Home Guard in the days before the war. It will belong to you again. Acknowledge. So this is kind of the, the world map, the open map, uh, same kind of camera controls. You've got objectives here. I like this a lot. You can speed it up and down. So you right click in order to kind of place a marker for your base to start moving to. And you can tab. Like if you're walking around, you can tab to center back on your base. But for right now, we're just going to speed up time and head to the base. Okay. Felheim Base, once a mining facility, later retrofitted as an emergency storage depot. Then the invaders came, and like everything else, it fell into enemy hands. You're thinking it too, right? Asked your pilot, grinning. If we can capture the facility, we'd have a home base to fall back to, if we needed it. It would get us a foothold in the provenance and hit them hard while we're at it. It's an opportunity you can't pass up. Battles ahead will change you and shape your country's future. You need to take every advantage you can get. And it all starts with Felheim. Let's suit up. It does this uh, kind of sweeping intro cinematic of the uh, wherever you're going or at the start of every mission or battle. But I'm probably going to be skipping those because honestly, they get old after a while. <laughs> Is that an attack crawler? You think we shot gold here? Finally, a way to repair and re refit these rusty mechs. Can't wait. You're seeing mechs approaching, request immediate support. I'm getting negative response from my IFF. Treat these walkers as hostile. All right. So reinforcements, they're gonna be coming right here. Uh, so after two turns, they're gonna be coming in with the reinforcements so i basically got to kill these guys in two turns which i don't think is possible for this mainly because uh it's a tutorial <laughs> but let's see so both of these guys are just going to be moving he's going to attack them but he's blocked by the building there uh, he's going to drive up here and attack which is fine and which one are you? You get the shotgun. So I'm going to head you in here. And then you're going to start attacking right there. That's all I can really do. Okay, now we have the heat. So attacks generate heat. Keep an eye on your timeline and the heat indicator. Spaced attacks. Space attacks to let the heat dissipate to avoid damage. So. Basically, as you're firing, it gets hotter and hotter and hotter. And then when you're not firing, it's cooling. And that all depends on your mech, right? It's got tons of stats that uh, determine their heat conditions, basically. And if you, you know, put attacks right here, like if I did that, now right here we'll be overheating and we'll actually be taking damage per tick. So you really don't want to overheat, but you can if need be. Okay, so let's get you going. You're going to run over here. I'm not too worried about him hitting me just because uh, if I go here, he should have, yeah, 62%. Okay, I will be in his optimal range by the end of it, but 
Not too concerned, to be honest. So I get to place it on the timeline or right here. I'll start shooting there. Ba -da 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 -da. I'll wait until I'm done shooting. And then I will start making my way this way around the building. I will do the same for this guy. Eh, I think I'll just do that. All right, let's execute that. See what it looks like. Oh, yeah, he's got I didn't see he had a cannon. OK, so that one's dead just straight up. So we got this one left. We have to kill this guy this turn or else we get these enemy reinforcements. But I think we're getting them anyway, so it doesn't really matter. He's crashing, but it doesn't say he's deceased. Hmm. And he's not off the board, so I think he is still alive. He's just lost his turn due to our collision. So he's just driving. So if I shotgun here and I hit him, but then I just move over here. And then let's see out there. That works. Then we are going to move a little bit more and now we're gonna kind of just pepper the hell out of them as much as we can oops yeah and then i can't get another one in so let's see how this goes Okay, yeah, we did still get the reinforcements. Engaging, let's deal with them and report to command. There will be no activity here for a while. I have no idea where these walkers are, who these walkers are. I have, okay, yeah, yeah. So yeah, doesn't matter. Even though we killed them both, uh, we still get the tutorial for the incoming guy. So he is going to just run, 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 get as close as he can and attack and then run, run, run again. And then he's going to attack again at the end of his turn. So what I'm thinking, ooh, I did overheat with that last one. I didn't even notice because I did go into the next turn. So I will be taking a little bit of damage, but that is fine. I want to be at least here because that'll put him into my optimal range. And then I want to as soon as he starts attacking, I'm going to put my shield up and target him with it. Who is he heavy? No, he's medium. We will we'll clash a bit. If we clash enough, it'll take away his turn. And then you. You are not overheating. I don't know why I said that, but. I think that's perfect. Okay, maybe not perfect enough. I want to get so that my buddy is not in my line of sight here. That should be good. And I'll put down. That one right there. He'll shoot, 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 shoot. He'll stop shooting. And about right there, I want another one. Yeah, that's good. Um, so yeah, that's it. Just setting up my two turns. That guy's good. Let's execute. Oops. Let's look at that replay, because I think I messed it up somewhere. No, he does have a shield up. His shield takes those hits. Okay. 
So now he's running all the way over there. He's just trying to get away, but he's going to be attacking as he does it. So if I get this, I want to shield up as quick as possible because he's already shooting at me. And I want to, as soon as he's done with the shield, just start blasting him. And I'll see if I can try to get Uh, no, that's the wrong idea. I need to go around here. I'm trying to get in his way as much as possible. See if I can stop him from taking his attack. else does the, my other pilot have? Well, he's got plenty to spare and it's just the one guy, so I think I am going to risk him getting shot in the ass here. So there. I do not want to be targeting my buddy. There we go. So no matter where he goes, he will be in kind of optimal range. In fact, I'm going to wait till there, and I'm going to start moving in a little more. Let's execute that. Yeah, I hit the shit out of him in the ass, but I did make him crash. So, pilot concussed. Okay, we won. So after salvaging. The engineering crew gets a chance to conduct a salver. That whole sentence just got fucking wrecked. Basically, we get to pick and choose what parts of the enemies we want to take with us or what we want to scrap into supplies. Supplies is kind of like our main currency. So this stuff right here, we get for free at the top. And then these are all the mechs and other things that we fight down here. And we basically get an overall budget, depending on how well we did. And we, you get to allocate those resources. So like this one takes 15, so now it's 15 out of 65, since this one's free. But if you leave the mech intact, which is meaning like you take out the pilot and not the destroy the mech, they're cheaper to recuperate. So this would usually cost 10, this would usually cost 25 if we wanted it. So I'm thinking I'm just going to take what I can, really. Okay, this one was damaged, so this isn't worth it. See, because now it's 10, now it's 25, because I did destroy his legs. Oh, that's unfortunate. But what if I do... Okay. No, I think I'll just do that. Screw the legs. I don't need them. Okay. Base of operations. The crew discovers an enormous, heavily fortified vehicle in the in the base. Inside, there's ample space to accommodate pilots and crew, complete with a bay to house Max. It's creaky from disuse, but still otherwise intact. You run your hand along the surface of the enormous tire treads and at your side, an engineer breathes in awe. I never thought I'd see one of these in person. What a find. With this mobile base, you'll be able to take the fight out to the road, striking the enemy where they don't expect it and even outfitting your mechs out in the field. This will take your campaign a long, long way. Mech customization. Okay. So these are all the units you can expect and hit edit. You can swap individual parts for the unit. Like say I want to switch out my gun and this tells me all the stats of my gun, projectile speed, heat generation, all sorts of BS. Those are the parts that I have. So I'm going to upgrade. 
to this level two gun. These are all my stats. Gives me cooldowns of my abilities and yada, yada, yada. I will go through all that at a different time. Once you're done, go back to the overworld. So I do have two. I do have two, two big boys, nice, nice big boys. And what's cool about this is that you can also customize their paints. So say if I wanted to go more of a, oops, more of my color scheme here, I would do something like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. And then you can, you can rename them. They have all sorts of different names. It's usually just like a, uh, a word and then the number. Colossus 4, Stargazer 6. Yeah, we'll get into that. Um, again, you can... There's so many customizable colors, and you can do it for each body part. You can have one that's just absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> yes, look at him. He's so cool. You get to pose him in different ways. But yeah, <laughs> stupid. I'm going to mess with that later. I'm not going to fuck with it right now, but you can you can do each individual thing. Super, super cool. Oops. So we're going to go back to the world base. Now we are in our mobile base. Where there's a need. Incoming message from Home Guard, boss. The pilot calls to you already breathless with the news. They've intercepted a call from civilians seeking aid, and we can get there faster than the army. Further details reveal that the enemy troops commandeered a nearby village and availed themselves to the area's resources. One brave villager finally managed to get a hold of a radio and send a message. She'd heard enemy soldiers murmuring about guerrilla fighters in the area and took her chance. We gotta help them out before things get worse, the pilot says. Continue, your pilot is right. So now we have another objective here. And now we can make our way there. I am going to put it on three times. So they got a little village. And this also does so our level down here where level 51 we have two mechs this is going to be level 62 threat level so yeah uh, <laughs> might be a little iffy but we'll be fine it's still a tutorial this whole first section is the tutorial a fight at home you can't go in guns blazing as usual the pilot says to another this isn't a base or a battlefield these are people's homes that brings up a list of of things to contend with. It doesn't matter if you liberate the civilians if they have nowhere to live after the smoke clears. Now comes the test of all your strategizing and planning. Suit up. So this is the briefing. This is just the, the calm before the storm, if you would. Gives you a list of everything. They're dug in like ticks, beat the enemy out to bring them out of cover. Jesus Christ. Reserves, tells you a bunch of stuff. And then this will tell us where we're spawning. So we're spawning here. And then we've got one, two, three, four enemies, it looks like. And these are our pilots. We can go through and do all that stuff. I do want to customize our pilots real quick because I did get a level two shotgun. And I did get these upgrades. Yes, so that makes me much, much more tankier. God, I forgot I fucking did all that to him. Okay, let's dive in again. One more mission. So many lives lost. So much devastation. This isn't what I wanted for you. I thought you'd be born in a time of peace and prosperity of love among people but the world is so different now tanks patrol the streets 
Neighbors turn on neighbors. People disappear in the night. They keep telling us this is temporary. That we'll come to love our new way of life. Somehow, I don't believe them. I want to give you the freedom I once had. But how can we few do that alone? We can't keep hope alive for much longer. We pray that someone, anyone, will answer our call. Man, the cutscenes are so good in this game. I don't know why I like them so much. Even these will be more challenging from here on. Complete objectives quickly and use cover avoid taking damage. So there are important civilian structures that we can't, that we shouldn't hit, but there are uh, bad enemy structures that we should hit, like this uh, alarm tower that alerts reinforcements. Home guard units have joined this fight uh so we're gonna have an ally basically that we could uh um uh, i actually just got to the point in the other game where i had allies on my team that i couldn't control so that was real interesting but he has a sniper rifle marksman rifle sorry looks like okay so the enemies are over there ah that motherfucker this guy's got a uh missile launcher so he'll shoot out missiles and you can see the trajectory is all wonky there because it goes up and then it comes straight down on you that's basically a way for people to not stand still like hey don't stand there because rockets are coming down you know and some of them track real hard like you have to move quite a ways away from it this guy's just going to be attacking here but he's actually going to be just shooting at the building. So I'm not worried about it. This guy's just going to be straight driving over there. So first things first, I am going to take this guy and make him shoot this tower here. Hopefully that... Uh, wait a second. What is his secondary? Is a handgun. Okay. I can't really do anything about this unless I do that. Yeah, that'll work. He's going to stand there. He's going to hit that tank. Where is my big boy? Big boy is here. Big boy is going to have some trouble in this level because look how long it takes him to get to go anywhere. He's going to go right there. I'm going to put an attack towards the end here. Just hit him with a shotgun blast. This guy has an assault rifle. I'm going to start heading my way over to... I'm going to do right there. And then I'm going to put in some attacks on this guy right here. Yeah, that seems all I can do. And then I'm going to put down a wait command until I'm done shooting. And then I'm going to run somewhere else. Hold on, you are a medium. And I'm assuming you are also a... No, you are a heavy. I need to stay away from you. Okay. So when I move next... Hmm... They get a backing off a bit, actually. Out right there. But that, that, and that. Seems pretty good. Let's execute it and go. You didn't quite get the tower there, so I will have to put more shots into it. 
Okay. Get the pressure on that tower just a little more and we'll have it knocked out. Okay. You got it, boss. So I am going to... Doop. Let us... Hit it once more. Now, I shouldn't have to realize about that. Oh, yeah. He's off the board already. Yeah, pilot deceased. Okay, so I'm just worried about these two now. So I need to... So this guy needs to be taken out and this guy needs to take out. This guy is a priority for me, for sure. Since he's going to be launching missiles. So I wait until it's unheated. I don't know if I'll be able to get... That's fine, though. I'll just... Be right here. He should move into my range by the time I'm ready to shoot. Yeah. Boom, boom. That'll work. You. I need you getting moving over here. And then I will start shooting as soon as I'm done moving. I think for now. That's pretty all right. Let's execute that. Taking out the alarm. Reinforcements aren't coming. rip -a -rooney. This guy dead. Unit crashing, but then he comes back to life and he's going to be shooting out that thing. He's also crashing, but he's ejecting his pilot. Ooh, okay. So I don't really need to worry about him. So it's really just about homeboy here. Let's go with an attack that doesn't make me overheat. Just make sure I have no heat on me. And then boom, boom. I'm a bit do a bit of overkill here. Well, honestly, I probably shouldn't. I think that's good enough. Fuck it. I'm going overkill. Just one shotgun blast overkill. So we can execute without using all of our orders here. Yep. And then he's ejecting. So we won. Cool. Unfortunately, we did destroy the mech, so all of his shit's going to be way more expensive, but we can we have plenty of room to take all of it. One of your pilots leaps down from their mech face flustered from the heat of battle and the high of victory. Let's prove these liberators rumors true, they called out, raising cheers from the rest of the crew. A grueling journey lies ahead of you, but the role of hope cannot be forgotten. It has sustained the civilians for this long, and under these conditions, perhaps it can sustain you too. If you can secure this province, what's stopping you from taking back your homeland? Within reach. With your recent efforts, for now the civilians are safe. However, your numbers are too small to permanently hold the area. Ensuring the people's continued safety means calling in the home guard forces before the invaders can reoccupy. You've built up enough momentum to contest the province and take back control. When you deliver the news to your crew, they buzz with a mix of anticipation and nerves. This was always your goal. You might be a small rebel unit, but with your prediction tech, you could help turn the tide of war. One of your pilots falls heavily into a seat, their grin at odds with their posture. Let's do it then, they say. Liberation. So we've basically taken over the area. Or no, we're going to take over the area, sorry. <laughs> so with this, test the province to come in the home guard. The home guard will engage the enemy, trying them, tying them down and giving you opportunities to strike at key objectives. Distracted, the enemy won't be taking sights back. The village you have liberated will be the least of their worries. 
You can see the state of the allied enemy forces above. The province will be liberated if the enemy forces are depleted and lost if the home guard runs out of forces there. Objectives will be designated by the home guard throughout the conflict. Take them out to weaken the enemy's power. Get this, that commander the home guard's been after? This patrol just broke down. Your scout points at the location on the map. Now's the time to mount an ambush. Upon hearing the news, one of your pilots began nervously drumming their fingertips against the control panel. If we hit them hard now and manage to get their commander, he won't be able to lead troops back to into their village. They say they're tapping intensifying. We free the people for real. And there's the stationed patrol. So now we start heading that way. Just putting in on three just to get it there. There will be a lot more action going on once we actually get out of this first Providence, which is the tutorial. Because you can, uh, when you're starting a new game, you can go, you can skip the tutorial and go straight into like the actual game game. We're still in the tutorial. Commanding attention. Any closer and you'll lose the element of surprise, your scouts report, as you approach the enemy commander's broken down convoy. Make sure they're ready to go, boss. Poised on the edge of battle, each of your pilots radios in that they're ready to go. Suit up. Okay. Now? Okay. Let's see at all this new stuff we got. So we did get a marksman rifle. We got two marksman rifles, actually. And I honestly like that more than the assault rifle, I want to say. Does have a bit of a longer range, less scatter when standing still. Yeah. I think I am going to do that. So I'm going to put this one on him. He's got the fire starter. I think we're going to put the wall on him. Does that change his speed? It does. It takes three speed away, but I do get the shield. Am I still? I am still considered a heavy. Okay, that does make me a medium still. I'm gonna try to see. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put the medium on. See if I can still rock the medium. Uh, I am gonna give him better stuff here. Just because I other guy's pretty beefy as it is. Uh, I did get the level two shield, so I will put that on him. Legs are good. Everything else seems to be good. Oh, I'm actually going to just get his name. Warrior five. Epic. And we got all our pilots. Uh, you can rename her. So in between episodes, I'm going to be renaming everyone. But for now, I'm just going to keep their regular names. And it looks like they're only going to have two units. Since it's going to be super easy. Prediction for squad is easy. Huh. You know what? Yeah, screw it. We'll do one more. I'm down. I don't know why I was thinking. So yeah, like this, I'm just going to skip it. They're just talking about they're just talking shit. <laughs> but, uh, okay, the VIP is piloting this mech. Try to surround and concuss him. That's right. So concussive damage depletes the pilot's health. A pilot will be knocked out when this bar reaches zero. Concussive damage is doubled for hits from the back. Okay, I didn't actually know that one. So the VIP is eliminated, prepared to retreat. To retreat... Move your units into the planned retreat action. Okay, so here is this guy. Now, how much damage does... So this does 18 concussive damage, and it does three concussive damage per hit, but it takes nine seconds. Or it's nine concussive... It only takes two seconds. What the hell am I talking about? Anyway. 
I think that's pretty good. I am actually going to move back a bit. And then I'm going to attack him. I don't think I'm going to be able to get another shot off on him. So I'm going to go. I'm going to wait there. I'm going to start running down here. You are going to give chase, my friend. I'm going to attack there until I can do that. So boom, 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 boom. Hopefully that's enough to outdo. Not I'm going to go a little bit more inwards. Okay. Let's see if that works. Oh, okay. Goddamn. I was about to say. He had two health left at the end of that. Commander, we just lost a VIP. Our command, we just lost VIT. Repressing. Um, so this guy's going to be chasing us. We do not care. Well, it says to retreat, but I don't think we care. <laughs> so let me go here. Let's go about here start blasting him. I'll do that. I don't think that's going to be able to hit him, right? That's blocked, yeah. Let me move. Right here. <laughs> Let's see if I can... Can I even hit him from there? It says I can. It'll do 25, but now we'll see. Okay. So he's still, he's still going. He's going to shield up and run away. And he's going to attack there. Where can I attack? Okay, that's actually perfect. And then I'm going to go right there. You are going to continue to attack. Actually, what does my pistol do? It doesn't do any concussive damage, so I do not care. I really like the concussive damage system. Okay, so maybe I can get up there and pelt him from below. Let's see if that works. Okay. So it seems he took a little bit of damage, not that much. Most of it took up by the shield. He hasn't seen him at all. <laughs> Perfect. I can do that. Actually, I think I'm going to just all right there. Da, 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 da. No, never mind. Screw it. I'm going all in on this freaking guy. Oops. And to go to my other pilot. Right there. Bam. Right there, bam. Let's see how that goes. Ah, oh, you missed like every fucking shot, that guy. Holy hell. Okay, victory. We win. Cool, cool. Ooh, we got a fucking level three sniper rifle. That's cool. I think we're gonna take all this stuff. Yep, we got plenty of it. Victory. Okay, so keep your momentum going. So they get minus 20 to their hit points, basically. Rescue the home guard. 30 hour duration. Okay. So these are battles. Battles break out when they're contested with the home guard, blah, 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 blah. 
basically these are timed missions. You have a timer to get to them, but they're super important because they those will destroy your health bar. Whereas any little mission you do will destroy the other enemies off bar. But if these, if you keep ignoring these, these are donezo. So, uh, in the bottom left here, we our mech did take damage, but we have a 100 liquid fix, which is basically like this is going to be used to repair things. Once you run out of this, you can't repair these guys passively anymore. But yeah, so let's go there. Speed it up a bit. I do want to take a look at our units here. I think the, sh the sniper rifle is going to stay for now. Just because uh, I'd like to get a third mech in there before I start doing sniper stuff. Oh, looks like we got another someone here. A base over there. Cool. Desperate times. Let's suit up, boys. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six enemies. This is rated hard for us, which is, you know, deserving. But I think we're going to be all right. Okay, well, I'm going to call it there for today. Super, super fun game. I love the hell out of it. I am having such a good time. It's my new obsession. And I hope I'll see you in the next one.